Ugh. So, traditional art versus digital art. Which one is better? So I decided to address this topic because I've seen a lot of artists online ask this question a lot. Especially traditional artists who are looking to transition or maybe want to find out for themselves. So in this video, I'll be giving you my thoughts and also my experiences. As a traditional artist who transitioned over two years ago and hopefully help those who are trying to make their decision and answer some of your questions. In my experience, traditional art versus digital art, they both come down to two things. Preference and inspiration. Because at the end of the day, they are both the same art, just different mediums. Just as someone would prefer to paint in oils and the other acrylic or draw with a charcoal or graphite, they are both the same. And art is not about um, the tools we use to make it, but rather the idea, the vision, the emotion you as the artist want to convey through your works. So clearly it's not about which one is better, but rather which one you'd prefer, which one works best for you. Because I've even heard a couple of artists on YouTube who um, have said they don't prefer drawing on a tablet it just doesn't work for them like me for example years ago I never liked drawing on a tablet I never liked digital drawings in general because they felt um, fake they weren't authentic to me I don't know why but I never liked them until I came across a website which was called ArtStation I'm sure you're familiar with it um, introduced me to this new world of digital art the possibilities actually opened my mind to digital art and the things you could accomplish with it to so cgi um, games design environmental concept art fantasy art and it basically blew my mind and actually inspired me to make a change so this brings me to my next point inspiration what actually inspires you to be creative who are the other artists out there that actually inspire you also to be creative? For me, it was ArtStation. This platform where artists get to showcase their works and see works done by industry's best artists from the video games and movie industries. It was, it was a new world for me seeing these epic images. The storytelling done through these images was just a game changer for me. So actually spark a new desire within me so caused me to also inspired me also to make a change so having someone or something that actually inspires you forces you outside your comfort zone to try new things and also expand your creative ability so let's talk about some of the pros and the cons of traditional art versus digital art one of the pros of digital art is that it's easy to access and it's also convenient uh, we all have some sort of device with us like our phones, um, an iPad, a laptop or a tablet with a screen we can pick up and start sketching something on the go. Uh, unlike the traditional art where it takes a while to set everything up, we now have to get um, our mediums or oils ready before you start painting or your charcoal ready before you start drawing. So it's easy to access and also if you have a tablet with you, um, you can take it wherever you go, makes it more convenient. Another pro for digital art is cost. The initial price for traditional art like your tools and materials is less compared to the initial price of let's say a tablet. But the cost for replenishing these tools regularly is more compared to the initial price of your of a tablet. Like I own an XP Pen 22E Pro, I'll be owning it now for three years and I haven't replaced it. So digital art is more cost effective. Another pro for digital art is productivity. So it saves a lot of time because you can edit out your mistakes or anything you're not satisfied with, you can just edit them out. But physical art is limited because you now have to spend a lot of time correcting your mistakes. So let's talk about the pros of traditional art. One of the pros is originality. So traditional art is more valuable than digital art because there's no way of duplicating it. The original piece is unique. Even though you make multiple prints, it, it still can be duplicated. Like my piece here, for example, I can make multiple prints of it, but it's still unique the original piece can be duplicated another pro of traditional art is a connection with the medium so traditional art offers this kind of unique experience as you draw like from the feel the sounds and the texture of the paper as you draw it leaves this kind of impact on you as the artist 
that thing is absent in the case of digital art where you're drawing on a smooth glass screen like some of the companies out there for example wacom or the ipad pro um, have tried to replicate these textures onto the tablet because they are well aware of this uh, existing experience that artists get whenever they draw on uh, on paper or paint on a on a canvas so they try to replicate these kind of textures onto the tablet uh, for me sometimes i prefer to draw on a paper and then scan them onto the pc and start to paint them digitally so uh, yeah these were my thoughts on traditional art versus digital art and if there were some things i failed to mention in the video um, feel free to comment down below and if you found this video was helpful to you uh, leave a like and subscribe thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video peace